Wow, so it looks like um, Blizzard is making some changes to the Season of Discovery side of WoW. They are actually choosing to abolish um, GDKPs in Season of Discovery, which only raises the question, why don't they ban them across the board? Um, I know they're pretty frowned upon in Wrath of the Lich King, Classic, um, probably even in Hardcore, GDKPs are happening. So that's my main question like why why just season of discovery you know maybe you guys can like explain it to me like why it's more important to ban them in season of discovery um versus like some of these other versions of wow but um i guess it's a step in the right direction you know maybe it's just like way too out of control in season of discovery maybe it's the biggest i, I would think it's a, a big problem in wrath of the lich king given the fact you see more gdkp runs than you do actual runs or main spec versus off spec runs in wrath of the lich king but yeah let's read through this really quick guys um we got some good news in the wow world today starting with phase two of season of discovery we are going to experiment with a policy change we will no longer support or allow gdkp or gold bid raids and dungeons in season of discovery wow that's crazy gdkp dungeons <laughs> thought it was exclusively raids but yeah that's crazy we've seen many questions about this policy change so please read on for our answers and more information okay so it's official guys no more gdkps i think this is the start of them really cracking down um this is just the start i think it will eventually make its way into hardcore and wrath of the lich king um classic so i don't know are they going on in retail wow i haven't really tapped into uh, dragonflight very much but i'm sure there is um, a lot of that happening it's just so corrupted like i made a video like titled like our gdkp's the destruction of wow or whatever is it destroying wow and i was impartial like i wasn't leaning one side or the other and i just got destroyed in the comments for that video like i was completely in favor of gdkp's but I'll, all i said was they're they're mostly bad but there are some redeeming qualities about them just like how available the gear actually is to get like instead of just relying on a 1 to 100 roll every time if you really want an item in a gdkp run you just have to have the gold to get you the item you know and i, I get why it's corrupted like gold selling and buying etc but um, yeah, I got completely destroyed in the comments for that one. People are so, like, touchy when it comes to GDKP runs, you know? People, you know, want to see the integrity of the game that they love back, so I, I get it. What is GDKP and why is it being restricted in Season of Discovery? Okay, we don't really have to go through the definition of what a GDKP is, but... I'm guessing most of you guys know if you're tapping into this type of video, but... Oh, okay. See? they actually do mention some of these redeeming qualities it's fair to say that gdkp has some benefits to individuals who don't want to be tied to a guild or set raid schedule that is true a hundred percent like i haven't really been a part of a guild in a while i don't really want to commit myself to a few days every single week like with this group of people i think guilds are pretty fun if you want to commit that much time but what about the casual player who just like has like one day a week or if that to like play you know you gotta try and be inclusive you know it's the it's the generation of being inclusive to everybody you know you gotta think of just the casual player so i completely understand where they're coming from with that um gdkp raids are while mostly transactional in nature another social activity in the game and we're hesitant to discourage anything that gets people into groups to play together okay that's a very fair standpoint however we've been concerned that gdkp erodes traditional guild and social structures that are in many cases the basis of our most fond memories of early versions of world of warcraft yeah see that's the main argument that people have it's just going against the integrity and just like the the foundation upon like what wow was built on you know just like respecting the roles and main spec versus off spec and loot council and things like that it's also undeniable that gdkp contributes to and drives a lot of illicit activity such as real money trading yep that's a huge problem and botting yes that's also a very big problem as it creates a demand for in-game gold that would not otherwise exist true 
100%. GDKP can create an arms race effect that encourages participating players to purchase gold to be able to compete for the best items. Yep, that is the root of the issue right there. 100%. Oh, I guess. Okay, I see why they're not implementing this in every version. They kind of want to, it's an experiment. So they kind of want to see how it goes and I guess they see that Season of Discovery would be kind of a good guinea pig to like try out this new policy with so I kind of understand why it's not the other versions of WoW 2. One sec, I need to take a bite of this delicious pizza. What exactly constitutes a gold bid or GDKP raid blah blah blah. We know the definition. <clears throat> what are the penalties for engaging in GDKP and Season of Discovery? Your ass gonna be banned boy. Yeah, that you're gonna be out of there, bro. If you do it after this new policy update, um, account actions up to and including suspension and permanent account closure. Yep, Blizzard has never been afraid to like ban your ass if they have even have suspicions of you, you know, doing something that's against their terms of service. So, um, yeah, no surprise there. When exactly does this policy go into effect? Uh, February eighth. For everybody who wants to know um, I kind of fell off of season of discovery I've been wanting to get back into it especially before they uh, raise the level cap to level 40 so um, I think I'm only like level 13 14 uh, yeah I kind of fell off I've always just been a fan of wrath of the lich king the most um, and wow kind of occupies a lot of your time so it's kind of hard for me at least to like spread it out into the other versions like I play a little bit of Dragonflight um, I played a little bit of hardcore I still actually have never died in hardcore but which would actually be a good content you know video to make like me dying or whatever but I just don't want to like fake it how a lot of these you know creators do just like oh my god I die no and like just like milk it for views so have there been any changes to policies around what is allowed to be advertised in trade or looking for group chat in season of discovery? Yes, anything involving a GDKP uh, run. <laughs> Obviously, if GDKPs are banned, you cannot be looking for players for a GDKP. <laughs> yes, to go along with this policy update in season of discovery, it is no longer permitted to advertise gold bids, GDKP runs in trade. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so say goodbye to gdkps and season of discovery and maybe they'll implement this in the rest of the in the rest of the versions of wow um yeah i'd be curious to see how it goes um are they actually going to be getting rid of them all together only time will tell so yeah